In today's video, I'm diving into the super empath versus the narcissist. You ready? Let's go. Hey friends, Tammy M. Joyce here, empowerment life coach specializing in codependency and narcissistic abuse recovery for empaths, scapegoats, and awakening light leaders. If you're new to my channel, a very special welcome. Please take a second to say hello and introduce yourself in the comment section below. And if you're back, welcome back. Thanks for showing up and for tuning in. Either way, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss a new video. So let's talk about the super empath versus the narcissist. Now, first of all, what's a super empath? Well, to begin with, the term super empath is neither a scientific nor a clinical term. Rather, it's a term used within the narcissistic abuse community to identify the difference between your average, highly empathic codependent, otherwise known as an empath, and a more evolved empath who has actually done their healing and recovery work and come out the other side stronger and far more personally empowered. To be clear, super empaths are no longer codependent. They are spiritual warriors and mission souls who have ascended beyond their codependency by having the courage, the strength, and tenacity to face and heal their past wounding and trauma. An untreated or unhealed codependent may be highly empathic, but continues to give their power away by seeking validation and approval from external sources, mainly because they've yet to repair the fractured relationship with themselves by mustering the strength to do the difficult work of healing their wounded inner child and original family of origin wounding and trauma. And look, let's be fair, abuse changes a person, but not necessarily for the worse. If you have empathy and your conscience is intact, you can come out the other side of any toxic relationship stronger, better, wiser, and more empowered. You simply have to make the choice and be willing to do the work. And if you want help with that, you can look into coaching with me via the links in the description below. I'd love to help you. On that note, on the surface, super empaths may appear to have a jaded edge to them, especially after exiting a toxic, emotionally abusive relationship dynamic. But don't kid yourself, their edge actually has nothing to do with a lack of empathy, but rather it's a clear indication of their newfound inner strength, personal power, and capacity for wise discernment. Super empaths aren't messing around. And that can make a lot of ordinary folk uncomfortable, in particular, if they have anything to hide. You can't hide the truth from a super empath, not for long anyway. Super empaths are leaders, while untreated codependents are still followers who gladly change their personality, or to be more precise, sell their soul, in order to placate the narcissists in their lives. They'll cling to narcissistically abusive relationships despite the detrimental effects of the abuse due to their low self-esteem and unresolved fear of abandonment. They'll even go so far as to stick up for and defend the narcissist, as well as enable the narcissist's abusive attitudes and behavior towards them and others, even when the narcissist is clearly in the wrong and causing grave damage. And they do this in an attempt to win the narcissist's approval, which of course never comes. Super empaths, on the other hand, do none of this. They will not prostitute themselves or sell their soul in the hope of winning favor or approval from the narcissist or anyone else for that matter. Having done their work and woken up to the truth of who they are and why they're here, alignment with their personal integrity and soul's mission and calling are everything. This is one reason why narcissists are both drawn to and terrified of the super empath. Just being in the presence of a super empath is triggering and destabilizing for a destructive narcissist. On one hand, they get high on the mere idea of the challenge of winning over, manipulating, and possibly duping the super empath. On the other hand, the terror of exposure for the narcissist is real, and for very good reason. The super empath sees through the disingenuous narcissist, their false persona and manipulative ploys quickly. Having done their work, they carry the light of truth and wise discernment in their field. They can smell deception and manipulation a mile away. Narcissists and their spineless enablers are quickly exposed for who they are just by entering the field of a fully empowered super empath. And the narcissist, their destructive tactics and their little minions don't stand a chance in this field. While the super empath is clearly blessed with a vast capacity for empathy, compassion, 
genuine love, kindness, and goodness, they will not suffer toxic people for long. Their self-esteem is intact. And this is one reason the narcissist's classic smear campaign has little to no effect on them. To begin with, liars have zero value or credibility in the super empath's reality. So they rise above the narcissist's distorted narrative with ease, grace, and faith, knowing full well the truth wins every time in the end. It's just a matter of time. Furthermore, they know who they are to their core and nothing or no one can shake that. So smear all you want. The super empath isn't losing any sleep, I assure you. That said, it never ends well for the narcissist foolish enough to attempt to toy with a super empath simply because they're not easily manipulated. They cannot be triangulated against other people, nor can they be made to feel jealous. Super empaths do not carry fear, insecurity, toxic guilt, or shame, and they don't have a jealous bone in their body. Neither do they see the narcissist's validation and approval as a prize to be won like the codependent does. The reality is the super empath is the most likely to expose the narcissist. And truth be told, the codependent empath could do this as well. It's just not as likely because they're still acting from their own false persona based in fear, insecurity, and unresolved woundedness. The super empath is also known to stick up for others who they believe are being victimized. Now that said, super empaths do not see themselves as victims because they're emotionally mature and spiritually evolved enough to be able to see how they've participated in the abuse. Now perhaps not as children or adolescents, but they're fully willing to take radical responsibility for what's gone on in their adult lives. And codependent empaths on the other hand, aren't there yet and continue to wallow in victimization. They're not interested in solutions or freedom. They prefer the cozy comfort of denial and disempowerment. This way they don't have to take responsibility for themselves or their lives. Now comment below and tell me whether or not you identify as a super empath. Let me know in the comments section below. And if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in my eight week transformational coaching program, the freedom class, there are links in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Another thing that is very important to understand about the super empath is that they have this uncanny ability to land on their feet and bounce back from literally anything life throws at them. No matter what lengths narcissistic people go to in an attempt to malign their character or otherwise take them out. When dealing with a super empath, the narcissist's best efforts fail on repeat over and over and over, whether they realize it or not. Part of the reason for this is super empaths have the ability to look for the gold in every circumstance, no matter how painful, destructive, dire, or diabolical. They will take their pain and turn it into personal power every time. They will learn from their mistakes and experiences with the narcissist and all of the abuse they've endured and then turn it into gold and the highest good for themselves as well as others. They naturally understand metaphysical principles deeply. They know full well the destructive narcissist is both a deeply unconscious shadow player and a master teacher. And although the super empath may have been victimized, they are nobody's victim. This may be the biggest difference that separates the super empath from the codependent and the narcissist. The willingness, the ability, the courage, and the strength to take radical responsibility for themselves and their lives and take all that they've lived and again, turn it into gold. Super empaths are known as the strongest empaths. And one reason for this is their ability to be bulletproof in the face of narcissists and all the nonsense they bring to the table. They can't be gaslit or easily manipulated and they don't fall for the narcissist guilt trips, fake apologies or false promises. They're stronger and more genuinely confident than the narcissist will ever be. And for no other reason than Unlike the narcissist, the super empath's inner strength and self-confidence is real, genuine, authentic. There is nothing fake, phony, deceptive, or disingenuous about the super empath. The super empath has a strong identity that can withstand even the toughest manipulators. It's this core identity that makes them the narcissist's biggest nemesis, as well as their most alluring, dangerous, and unattainable target. A super empath's core identity keeps them true to themselves, 
even when a narcissistic manipulator tries to cross their boundaries. When a narcissist tries to make a super empath doubt themselves and their perception of reality or guilt them for something they didn't do or intimidate them in order to make themselves feel superior, a super empath will not budge. They will remain completely unfazed and equally unimpressed. You can't intimidate a super empath. They know their values, morals, and beliefs. They know who they are. And when someone tries to intimidate them, manipulate them, or gaslight them, they don't roll over. And they certainly don't tolerate it or suffer in silence. Again, they do not suffer toxic people, emotional manipulators, or bullies. Not for long, anyway. Unlike your average codependent empath, a super empath doesn't only have empathy for others, they actually have it for themselves. Their sense of self-esteem and self-love are intact. They've worked hard to get where they are and will remain unmovable in the face of disingenuous, deceptive, manipulative, and dishonest people. Again, they're not playing. They're the real deal. Whether you see that for what it is or not is of no consequence to the super empath. They're wise enough to go where the real love is and sovereign enough to walk away from everything else. In addition, they're honest and frank. And as you can imagine, this is a problem for the narcissist and their spineless entourage. Simply because people of this ilk have become so accustomed to being indirect, passive aggressive and phony, that clear direct communication seems aggressive and confronting. And of course, by comparison it is, and it should be. Today more than ever on this planet, real people with real courage to speak real truth is something we need more of down here, not less. Now with all of that said, the bottom line is this. What differentiates a super empath from a regular codependent empath and their narcissistic counterparts is the super empath has natural inner strength, high self-esteem, as well as their commitment to truth, their personal integrity, and a rock solid connection to their core identity. In other words, their highest self, their soul. They know exactly who they are and who they are not, which, makes them harder to mess with and therefore far more problematic and disruptive for narcissistic types. And although narcissists enjoy the challenge that a super empath offers, the truth is the super empath can't be fooled and doesn't just roll over when the abuse begins. That pushback is something the narcissist rather enjoys and finds attractive, initially anyway. At some point, the narcissist may realize the super empath is too strong-willed for them, in particular when their attempts to gaslight and devalue don't work to subdue the super empath and cause them to submit. When this happens, they'll discard them, if the super empath hasn't discarded the narcissist first. Either way, the narcissist will be sure to blame the super empath for all of it on their way out. They'll also go out of their way to blow things up and do as much damage as possible for no other reason than to be able to blame the super empath for the hostile and dramatic outcome that the narcissist themselves created. Now that said, the real challenge for the narcissist lies in attempting to dominate and control the uber clear and independent super empath and break their spirit, so to speak, which again, doesn't usually end well for the destructive narcissist. So. Good luck with that. Narcissists are attracted to the super empath because they instinctively know that the super empath is the ultimate conquest. And if conquered, could potentially feed the narcissist an endless amount of narcissistic supply. The problem with this, however, is it is a misguided miscalculation on the narcissist's part. The super empath doesn't tolerate abuse or mistreatment or disingenuous, dishonest, and deceptive, like your regular codependent empath will. So again, in spite of the narcissist's best efforts, this doesn't tend to end well for the narcissist. Unlike other codependent empaths, the super empath actually has what it takes to hold the narcissist accountable for their toxic behavior and weather whatever storm ensues as a result. The reality is super empaths are made of ridiculously strong stuff. And the bottom line is narcissists are no match for the pure personal and spiritual power a super empath carries. And with that, I'm going to call it a wrap. But before I go, how can Tamium coaching help you? Four ways. 
Number one, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to make sure you get notified of my new videos every Friday. Number two, watch my free web class by clicking on the link in the description below. You'll learn about my personal journey and professional experience through decades of research specific to healing and recovery from codependency and narcissistic abuse. You'll also learn about some powerful strategies that you can begin to use today. Number three, if you're not sure where to start, but you want to come and learn from my team and I, and you'd like to be supported by a stellar community of like-minded people who are focused on solutions that actually work, you can learn more about my eight week transformational coaching program, the freedom class by going to TammyMCoaching.com and clicking on programs and reviews for all the details. And number four, if you want help right now because you've got a burning issue, you need something solved, you want to break free from painful relationship patterns permanently and actually make lasting progress in your healing and recovery, go to TammyMCoaching.com and click on apply now to learn how to become a client.